Guess I should find some place to try to talk to Solus. Wait, that room wasn't there before. I don't think. Therefore, Harding must have put my pack here. It makes sense. Better place to sleep than the infirmary. Guess I can spare a few moments to unpack my things. Barrick and his life lessons. <laughs> I asked him how we were supposed to stop Solus, and he gave me this. Take a long, hard look at it, kid. It'll always show the face of a hero who can get it done. I don't know if I see a hero's face. But it's a face that's seen a lot. Got a few new scars. Some that show up in a mirror, some that don't. But Varik believed in me then, and he believes in me now. I can do this. Best drink of my whole life. Fresh water from this pitcher after Varric and I got out of the trap set by that double-crossing noble. We didn't know how close he was to the throne of Ravain. Or that stopping him would get me kicked out of the Lords of Fortune until the heat dies down. Who cares about the politics? I kept a dangerous artifact out of venatory hands. The Lords should have had my back. A peddler gave me this after I saved his caravan from bandits. He was so impressed with the vitar that Canari wear to protect our faces, and the fireworks he saw at the Ravani Festival. Said he had no idea my people were such accomplished alchemists. He had fancy silks from Orlay, statuettes from the wilds down south. I could have listened to stories all night about places he'd been. Now I'm getting to see some of those places myself. Meditation upon the use of blades. Must have read this thing cover to cover a dozen times during weapons training. The number of times I banged my head against this book trying to make the concepts work. But that training has kept me alive so far. Right. That's better. Now, how do I connect to Solus? Just... Sleep or relaxing? Maybe if I clear my mind. Back so soon. It must have been worse than I had thought. Hello, Dreadwolf. Ah, but perhaps I am mistaken. You may be here to correct me, to tell me that my concerns were unfounded. I am, after all, remembered as the god of lies, treachery, and rebellion. So you're gonna be insufferable about it. See, this is the reason nobody likes you. I led a rebellion for centuries that culminated in the creation of the Vale and the destruction of the Elven Empire. Okay, this is among the reasons nobody likes you. My information was accurate. Now you realize that the danger is real. I need to know what the gods are planning. You are asking for knowledge no mortal in this world is privy to. If I am to share it with you, I need to know what makes you the right person to lead the fight against Algernon and Gelanane. I'm not in charge of everyone. I'm just leading my little team until Varric is back on his feet. I understand your fear. Declare yourself the leader, and others may think you power-hungry, no better than those you oppose. 
I didn't say I was afraid. Back in the Lords of Fortune, I was hired to accompany this noble who was hunting for an old relic. The noble betrayed us and left us to die in an ancient ruin collapsing around us. But you escaped with your team and then tracked down and prevented the noble from selling the relic to the Venatori. How do you know that? You helped Varric pursue me for the better part of a year. It would have been foolish not to learn about who was hunting me. Then you know I'm not interested in a fancy title. But when something needs doing, I do it. I suppose I was not so different when I started. Started what? My rebellion against the Evanurus. The Elven Gods, as you call them. They wish to reclaim their dominion over this world. To accomplish that, they will need two things. First, the Blight. What exists in this world is a bare fragment of its power. The rest is imprisoned. Until they release it. What would they need to do to free the Blight? And how do we stop them from doing it? They will need to pierce the Veil to reach the Blight's prison. My Lyrium Dagger is one of the few artifacts capable of doing so. We've already recovered it from the ritual site. Excellent. Then they will have to make their own. That will give you time. You said the gods needed two things, and the Blight is the first. What's the second? Followers. They have called themselves gods. And what is a god without worshippers to sing their praises? You think they want the elves back? I don't think the elven people will bend a knee to blighted murderous monsters. Agreed. Algernon and Gilanane care little for the elves. They will find worshippers among those hungry for power. Tyrants and bullies. The cruel and the corrupt, who fear their own vulnerability and seize any chance to feel strong. If you hunt them, they will lead you to Algernon and Gilanane. You want me to pick fights with tyrants and bullies? Sounds fun. I gave no orders. All I offer are suggestions. I'm on it. What else? The Veravas, the Lighthouse Saluvian, can take you anywhere. If you master its secrets. Have you done so? Not yet, but we've got one of the Veil Jumpers working on it. She'll get it sorted, and we'll see how it goes. Yes, I suppose we will. And when you speak with Varric, please tell him that I regret what happened. So Solus told the truth about the gods. You heard. It's bad, Varric. If you'd seen Demeter's crossing... The team needs to act fast. And it can't do that with me leading from a bed. You've got to take point on this. I can't do what you do. I've barely been holding it together in the short time you've been out. You don't need to do what I do. You just need to get it done. Rook, when I put this team together, what did I look for? A detective to find the Dreadwolf, and a scout to get us the lay of the land. Exactly the people he'd expect me to recruit. Disciplined. Predictable. And then there's you. Remember when we first met, kid? That scheming noble locked us up inside that tomb. Tightest corner I've ever been in. But you kept your cool. Fought off the Guardians. Discovered an escape route. And triggered a cave -in? The big one. Ravani leaders lined up to yell at you for that, but you've got a knack, kid. For what? Finding a way through the wildest shit I've ever seen. With a plan that no one expects. On the best day of his life, Solus wouldn't see you coming, Rook. And don't worry. 
I'll still be here to talk if you need me. I'll let you get some rest. You're gonna be fine, Rook. Uh, hey, one last thing before you go. I've been racking my brain thinking of contacts who might help us with these gods. You got any ideas? Nothing. But being a leader isn't about having all the answers yourself. It's about knowing who does. Nev has connections to a whole world that Harding and I barely know. Might be worth talking to her. Will do. Thanks, Varric. Anytime. Hey, Nev. Hi, Wisps. Yeah, they're still here, but you're here for leads. You want allies to go after the gods? I've got places to look, if we can get anywhere but Arlathan. Valara's working on it. What have you got? Let's start with the angles we know. The gods are corrupt magic personified. Who do we hire to fight that? First, the Antivan Crows. You want to fight gods with assassins? Not just any assassin. Their most feared mage killer, the demon of Virantium. You think a trained killer will like us? What's not to love? The demon got his nickname taking out blood mages and Venatori. From everything I've learned, the reputation was earned. I never uncovered his real name, and there's been fewer stories the last few years. But the crows would know. I can set a meeting with their bosses. This is great. Thanks, Nev. It's what I'm here for. You said the crows were first. What's next? A trip home. Back to Minrathus. Capital city and heart of Tevintir. An empire of mages that knows a thing or two about corrupt magic. Tevintir authority... Won't help and can't be trusted. Which is why we talk to the Shadow Dragons. They're a resistance group that fights slavers, blood magic and imperial corruption. They've got eyes and ears everywhere, including mine. If the gods enter the Empire, we might get something. Besides, I owe them an update. These people sound great. I mean, if they're anything like you. No one's as good as they seem. But they try. So we talk to the crows in Antiva and the shadow dragons in Minrathus. I wouldn't mind checking in on my neighborhood either. If Balara's ready for us. Yeah. Should check how things are going.
Almost there. I just have to. Shit. Sorry. Can I help? No, no, I got it. Mostly. Mirrors are funny things, aren't they? Reflections. They distort reality, no matter what you try. And there's the trick. Control that distortion. There you have it. What is that place? If I had to guess, it's the Fade. Another part of it, I mean. Didn't Morrigan say this Alluvian could go anywhere? Didn't think that meant elsewhere in the Fade. She called it the Veer of Us. Freedom of ways. I wonder... If that is the Fade on the other side, won't it be dangerous? As the Fade often is? More dangerous than elven gods who wield the Blight as a weapon? Point taken. Some of the older texts talk about a place in the Fade where all the Alluvians meet. A crossroads where you could travel across all of Thetis in just minutes. Right. We saw something similar when we were chasing Solus. I wonder if it's the same. It is alike. And it is not. Who are you? And how did you get here? The Wolf's Fang. You carry it now. Old, perhaps. A new journey through there. I will wait. Well, can't tell if that's a trap or not. But we're short on options. One way to find out. And it didn't feel dangerous, you know? Almost more... sad. No matter whatever or whoever else they are, they're a creature of the Fade. That means they're dangerous. Keep your weapons ready. And we still don't know what this Alluvian's gonna do. One of us should probably stay behind in case it closes. Good point. Just tell us when you're ready to go, Rook, and then we can figure out what's going on. Vedun Gar Velos Atreidum. But Velos Atreidum is, is nothing like Isatunol. Isatunol. I remember. After you touched the dagger, the prayer, the proclamation, Isatunol. What exactly are you proclaiming? They don't remember. No one remembers. We don't even know what we lost. You're not hearing a word I'm saying, are you? Uh-huh. You know you're adorable, right? Sure, whatever you think is best. <laughs> hmm? What? What's happened? I said you're adorable. You're poking fun at me. I would never poke fun. I respect you too much. Hmm. Is that so? A hundred percent. So, what's Isatunal? Isatunal is an affirmation, a statement of existence, of... of being. It means, I am here. But no, not... not I. I is singular, but it isn't. We, either. 
Hmm. We is multiple, but also separate. What? <sighs> is the Tunal is the eternal hymn that encompasses all time. All spaces. I am, we are, this and that, here, there, now, and forever. What's important is that you're happy. Happy? Happy's not it. Whole. Right, maybe. I'm certain Isatunal describes how we, the dwarves, once were. But none of the books say anything about it. None of the histories are right. If we forgot something so important, what else did we forget? I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I don't expect you to have an answer. Th thanks for letting me babble, by the way. Anytime. That's what I'm here for. Couldn't be one god, it had to be three. 